In this paper, we present a method for global collision avoidance on curves. Rather than simply applying ad hoc repulsive forces between pairs of elements, our method comes from discretizing a principled repulsive energy on continuous curves, whose gradient quickly reaches globally self-avoiding configurations. Intuitively, for any two points, our energy is 1 over the radius of the smallest sphere intersecting both points and lying tangent to the first point. This energy approaches infinity when non-neighboring curve segments move close, while ignoring intrinsically neighboring pairs that do not cause self-collision. Classical methods for gradient descent fail to make significant progress towards minimizers of this energy, as we can see from this not untangling task. We instead perform gradient descent under a fractional sobolev slobodetsky inner product, which makes extremely rapid progress towards the minimizer. Please refer to our paper for technical details. Our fractional Sobolev gradient descent converges to minimizers far more quickly than all other strategies we tested. Note that all of these animations are scaled to reflect each method's progress in real time. The fast convergence of our method makes it ideally suited for untangling your earbuds. The wide variety of constraints and potentials supported by our framework make it useful for tasks in computational design and mathematical visualization. For instance, here we are able to optimize 3D embeddings of non-planar graphs with fixed edge lengths. By constraining our flow to the plane, we can also find self-avoiding layouts of planar graphs with uniform spacing. And by fixing specific vertex positions and tangents, we can perform self-avoiding spline interpolation. In this case, starting from an arbitrary arrangement of circles, we can grow and pack a collection of uniformly distributed Voronoi-like cells within the boundary. Here, we place an initial curve inside a repulsive boundary surface and progressively increase the lengths of the curve's edges. The result is a curve packing that resembles a space-filling curve where complexity must continually increase so that the curve can remain inside the boundary. The same thing can be done to a curve that is constrained to lie on a surface, producing similarly space-filling results. Length can also be shortened to simplify diagrams. In this case, starting from a rough sketch of a curve with complex topology, we reach a shorter, smoother curve from the same isotopy class. Adding a potential that encourages alignment with a vector field allows well-spaced streamlines to emerge from a rough initial configuration or even a random initial state. By combining the constraints and potentials we've discussed, we can design biologically inspired networks such as these muscle fibers and this vascular system. Repulsive curves can also be used for multi-agent path planning. In this initial plan, the agents inadvertently collide with each other as they move through the central area. If we interpret the plan as a set of trajectories where the vertical axis represents time, we can use the repulsive curves framework to optimize them. In the optimized plan, the agents remain well separated at all times, making the solution both feasible and robust to real-world sources of error such as sensors or navigation. We believe these are only some of the many potential applications of repulsive curves in graphics design and visualization. Thank you for watching.